In this tutorial, we're going to create a really, really simple dice game. There's just going to be two players, and each player will press enter to roll their dice, and then whoever rolls the highest number will win. And of course, we'll use the random functions to get the uh, dice rolls. Alright, so let's just ask the player one to press enter to roll their dice. Should be pretty simple, and of course, you don't have to type the exact same thing that I do. And. In fact, I suggest you don't, because if you did, that would be a little bit creepy. There we go. And then I am just going to run... I think I'm just going to run the get C function to get a single character. Unless they type in something that's not an enter key, the program will run fine. If they type something that isn't an enter key, it might cause some problems. Alright, so that should get one character from standard input, and if the user <coughs> excuse me. And if the user does what they're supposed to do, it should be the enter key. Alrighty, so now all we have to do is generate one random number, and we've included the standard library header file and the time.h header file. And real quick, before before we ask this, we should probably give our random function a better random number to work with by seeding it using the srand function. So to seed it, of course, we do the srand function and we give it the system time in milliseconds. That should work. And now all we have to do is run the random function to get uh, the value for our player 1's die. And that will equal random the random function. And as we learn, since we need a value between 1 and 6, we need to do percent %6 to do the module operation. And because this will give us a value between 0 and 5, we have to add 1 to this. Alrighty, so that should get our first player's die. And we can actually just copy all of this and paste it and change player 1 to player 2. And hopefully that will work. So we now have two variables, p1 and p2, which should have random uh, die values between 1 and 6. And now all we have to do is print out who won. In fact, it might be best to print out what the values are first. So let's print out this. Player 1 rolled a And player two and now all we have to do is give this printf function the dice that were rolled p1 and p2 and you probably want to put a comma between after that quotation mark and now we've printed out everything when we've gotten our random dice rolls so now we just need an if statement that will say if p1 is equal to p2, we can print out that they tied. Alright, and we can do an else if to determine if p1 is greater than p2. And we'll print out that player 1 has 1. And now we don't need to test if uh, P1 is less than P2, because if P1 is not equal to P2 and it's not greater than P2, it has to be less than. So we can just put an else. Alrighty. Let's see if this works. This is a lot of code. Chances are I, put, I made an error somewhere. Alright, so I'll compile this. And I didn't make any errors yet. Let's see what happens. Player 1, press enter to roll your dice. Should be die, not dice. Player 2, press enter to roll your dice. Player 1, rolled a 3, and player 2, rolled a 1. So player 1 has 1. Alright, let's do this a couple more times to see if we can make sure we get all of the possible outcomes. Alright, well we have different dice rolls here, but player 1 is still winning. Now we have a tie, 
another tie. Player one. Player one's doing good here. Another tie. Player two just can't make it. Oh, finally. Player two has won. Alrighty. So, in this tutorial, we created a really simple game that uh, had two players enter, press the enter key to generate random dice rolls, and then it would say who won based on who had the higher die. Pretty simple, and nothing new in this tutorial that wasn't in the last one, but this is just a good way of using, of applying the information that we learned. So, I hope this wasn't too boring for you, and you, you guys need to subscribe, because I still have you know, the same number of subscribers that I had 30 tutorials ago. It's kind of sad. Alright, well, subscribe, and I'll see you again.